Well, this week we've been talking about prayer because from next week we're starting our 40 days of power on Thursday, the 23rd. So I've taken this time to teach on prayer uh, based on the Lord's Prayer. Now, I just want to go back a little bit in Matthew chapter 6 to get some instructions Jesus gave about prayer, and that will conclude my teaching on prayer for this week. And Matthew chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathens do. For they think that they'll be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them. For your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. Jesus is giving instructions about prayer, and this is what he tells his disciples, uh, that they shouldn't use meaningless repetitions in prayer. Because too often people measure prayer by its fluency, by uh, its verbosity, by the intensity of the voice, and all of that. And, and somehow we think all of those give us power in prayer. But, you know, if we learn from Jesus, it doesn't seem uh, that there's much power in some of those instruments that we use in prayer. So he says, don't use meaningless repetitions. Now, why did Jesus say that? In the days of Jesus, some of the rabbis taught that some words were very powerful in prayer, and that when you were praying, that you have to repeat those words over and over and over and over and over and over. So it was a practice then where people would pick one word or one phrase, and they would say it over and over and over and over in prayer. And that's what Jesus calls vain repetitions. In fact, when I was growing up, there were people who felt that there were certain uh, words that were very powerful in prayer, and that when you were praying, you have to repeat those words. I'm sure they got it from the rabbis of Jesus' time. And it, it is similar to what happened between Elijah and the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel when they prayed for a very long time, saying the same words, Oh, Baal, hear us. Oh, Baal, hear us. Oh, and sometimes we pray, Oh, God, hear us. Or, or, oh, Jehovah, hear us. Or Yahweh, hear us. Or whatever word we think is powerful, and repeat it over and over and over and over. And Jesus says, don't do that. We don't just do vain repetitions. It doesn't mean we shouldn't pray over the same thing many times. Jesus Christ himself prayed the same prayer many times. And in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed the same thing many times. But that's not vain repetitions. That is praying with a topic many times over or, or petitioning God over and over and over, being persistent in prayer. But what Jesus means here is don't just pick one word or two words and just hammer them over and over and over and over and over and think that if you hammer them strong enough, God will hear you. So we, we don't uh, use vain repetitions in prayer. And then he says that when you pray, you have to trust that God knows your needs and, and that he cares for you. You see, if you are praying and you think God is against you, God, God doesn't even want to give you what you want, then, then you're, you're going to try to force God's hands. But we don't force God's hands. We, we, are, we believe that God always is predisposed towards blessing us and predisposed towards healing us, predisposed towards giving us freedom. And, and so when we come to him asking for those things, there are things that he already wants us to have. He wants us to have the abundant life. He wants us to have victory in life. He wants us to enjoy dignity in life. He wants it to be well with us in life. It's not just we wanting it. God wants it. So in prayer, as we learn from the Lord's Prayer, we're praying, God, you already want me to have this, so I'm asking for it. You already want to bless me, so I say, bless me. You already want to heal me, so I say, heal me. So he says, when you pray, that's the premise you come with, that God already wants to bless you. And based on that assurance and confidence, you make your request known to the Lord. And I trust that as we start praying, uh, some of these concepts will help you to pray more effectively. Let's pray together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are a good and faithful God. I trust you to meet all of my needs. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you next week, very momentous week. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.